IDM wasn't about building a career or skill set. IDM has been about building a life. I was looking for the intersection between design as an action and helping people as a purpose. And IDM just had that. There's a lot of creativity involved, a lot of out-of-the-box thinking. You're just surrounded with people that really believe the idea of leaving the world better than you found it. IDM is the Integrated Design and Management Program at MIT. It's a two-year master's program that sits in both MIT School of Engineering and MIT Sloan School of Business. The primary objective of IDM is to use human-centered design as a foundation for thoughtful, inspired leadership. Human-centered design is the idea of tying everything back to real user needs and emotions. And by doing so, we can create beautiful, easy-to-use experiences. This includes digital experiences, physical product, and even services. Being human-centered is kind of inverting this like expert hierarchy. When you say, okay, you are an expert in what it means to live your life, then you're able to design policies or products that really fit that reality. One thing that's very special about IDM is our orientation. We bring the, the cohort to climb a mountain up in New Hampshire in the White Mountains. Struggling up that peak, we really bond with each other because we rely on each other to get to the top. There's no distractions. There's no technology. There's no Wi-Fi or cell signal. And it forces us to be together as human beings. Oh, wow, so we're hiking together and then sleeping in the same room? That's a lot. I think the culture is definitely one of being all up in each other's business, but in order to sort of push you to deliver the best that you have to offer. Your first year, you spend like every day with the same people, except for maybe Sundays you might get a break. My colleagues are intense, and they always uh, sort of pushed me and challenged me to show up and bring it a little bit harder on everything. We really forced this integration into three disciplines. A third of our students come from some sort of design background. A third are engineers, and a third are business people. And we put them together and watch the sparks fly. Because everyone approaches everything from a completely different place, and learning to really value those different opinions and points of view is great. There's 27 different people and 27 different backgrounds, essentially. When you see like, different people's personalities combine, and at first you might think that they would be conflicting, but then they conflict and they merge. I don't have an engineering background, but I now have the vocabulary to speak with engineers, and I see what it's like to work as an engineer. The beauty of the program is that we all have different skills to give and together, you know, because of our diversity, we're able to build something so much better and to learn from one another. When we admit students into this program, the thing we look at first and foremost is their character, their ability to embrace and celebrate diversity in all its forms. Those people tend to work well together. Design makes a product desirable, ergonomically pleasing. It's the right materials. Not only do they design the product, they make 50 units by hand. Then they develop the empathy for the people on the factory floor who have to make these things. And when you make 50 of something, it's much more difficult than making one. Quality is key, precision, repeatability. I've learned how things are made, which is I never had that uh, lens on before. Like, I see the world in an entirely different way now. So in December, we have the gala, in which we have to sell our 50 pieces that we've manufactured. It matters if we sell things. The verification of what we're learning here can be translated into creating products that are desirable. And desirable touches all parts of it, the engineering, the design, and the business part of it. If they don't combine, they don't sell. Being an engineer and also being an artist, I would try to figure out how do I bring these two worlds together. So IDM was that 
place where I felt like I could make it happen. We're really looking for very special people, people who want to do great things for the world and for each other. I've been smart all my life, but underappreciated all my life, and here I'm valued, and my thoughts are valued, and my ideas are valued, and the things that I care about are valued, and um, as anybody can tell you, that's life transforming.